Good morning. Um, we're starting um, this morning reading the Psalms again. We're back in the Psalms and it takes us um, nearly up to the end of the year. <clears throat> and if you want to uh, follow the pattern that we've been um, looking at, then do go to the um, diocesan website and, and you'll find a link uh, there. And if you um, go on to start the day um, section, um, you'll find you'll find the reading scheme there. So do do have a look on there. And if 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 that's tricky, do send us an email. And we'll, yeah, we'll happily we'll send make it sure. To you. Yeah, if you want to follow the scheme. So we began um, reading uh, in that scheme Psalm one yesterday. We're on Psalm two today. It takes us right up towards the end of the year, um, as Sarah was saying. And um, and then at the very end of the year, we we we, we go to the last of the wisdom books um, in this scheme, which is Ecclesiastes. So um, this morning, Psalm 2 um, opens up with the nations rising up against the Lord. Um, and that includes um, the Lord's anointed, his people, although the focus is going to turn very quickly to, to the king who is at the centre of God's anointed people. Um, by the end of verse 3, with all the noise, you get the sense that uh, God's people are surrounded. There's a sort of fearful sense of, um, of uh, the enemy approaching. And then, dramatically, in verse 4, the focus changes direction and God comes into view. All the noise is abated and the confidence now <coughs> is in uh, God and his, uh, particularly his anointed king. He's going to install a king um, who will be forever. And of course, that's why this psalm, um, you'll recognise some of the, the words in the psalm, they point forward to the New Testament, to the coming of Christ, and this psalm is often quoted um, in the New Testament. In fact, Derek Kidner, returning to our friend Derek Kidner on this, um, he says the whole psalm is unsurpassed for its buoyant, fierce delight in God's dominion and his promise to his king. So with that in mind, we'll Let's turn read. to read it. <laughs> psalm 2. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king, O Zion, my, mount my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son or he will be angry and your way will lead to your destruction, for his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Mm, that's oh, the sun is I know the, the sun, sun is, is coming is, round really fast this morning. The sun is rising, it's early. Yeah. Um, I was, I, it, having read that, um, um, and I was particularly drawn to verse 7, mm. um, which says, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son, today I have become your father. And this, this echoes um, what is spoken by God the Father to Jesus at his baptism and transfiguration. And God continues to speak into, the, into our lives um, in the same way as we follow him, especially at times when um, we might be feeling surrounded in a way that perhaps feels overwhelmed. Um, and the affirmation um, can come in, in so many different ways. It can be a friend um, saying something just, just the right words um, or, or a scripture, um, a verse that, that we read or somebody has for us um, or in other ways and I, I find um, for me, I can't mm. see you because it's sun, <laughs> I find for me um, it, it's, in, it's in little ways which, with other, which other people might not notice but you just know mm. in here that in the small that things, in the small of, things yeah. that God has sent that thing, whatever it is and, and it's, it's just an affirmation, just a reminder mm. that God um, knows our situation, knows us, knows our heart, yeah. knows how we're feeling. And it's, it's a wonderful um, sense of being known mm. and, and God cares. And, yeah. and that, that's just no, that's a beautiful thing. And, and so it may be that today that, that just as God affirms us as belonging to him, adopted by him, 
as he affirmed his son, uh, Jesus, um, that we can pass that on. There may be some we can pass that affirmation on today. Uh, too. And um, uh, today, I mean, it is Friday um, and it's already been dubbed um, Mask Up Friday because uh, in our response to the coronavirus, today's the day when we uh, need to remember to wear our masks if we go into shops or other indoor uh, public uh, spaces. So I have my mask at the ready. I will be out and about a bit today, so I'll be ready to be masked up. Don't forget that. Um, and of course, we began these readings, this pattern, um, just sharing the pattern that we use every day back um, as we were coming into lockdown. And although so many things have been able to, to return to a, to a form of normality, we still find ourselves living with a lot of uncertainty. And um, we recognise mm. that there are uh, people who um, are still having to be very careful um, because of their own health issues or someone they live with <clears throat> to try and uh, remain um, safely uh, uh, away from uh, the, the the dangers of the virus and we're and we're praying for them today we're praying for you if you're in that situation and we're going to continue these readings for a little while longer um, so that that we hope will be a particular support so um, today um, uh, we want to pray for people who are feeling surrounded maybe mm. feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment to know that God is with you God is for you um, so let's mm. turn to prayer let's pray Heavenly Father, and thank you for reminding us today that you know us, you care for us deeply. And Lord Jesus, we pray for those, um, particularly today, who are feeling overwhelmed, um, uh, weighed down by different burdens, whatever mm. they are. Lord Jesus, we, we thank you that you walk alongside us. Help us, Lord, to um, turn to you today and to hand over those things. Thank you, Lord, that you so willingly um, take those burdens from our shoulders. Yeah. Um, and you carry them for us. Lord Jesus, we just pray that today. Thank mm. you that your love is everlasting mm. and your faithfulness um, goes on. Um, Lord Jesus, we mm. just pray for those people today. And thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your um, love to us. Mm. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, we, <laughs> the words in today's psalm are the words um, that spoken to Jesus one of the place at the transfiguration it feels like while we've been um, started this morning it was a lovely shaded spot but the sun has risen um, and that's a good thing and uh, uh, well some transfiguration light around but whatever you're doing today may you know God's light shining um, the affirmation of his promises through Jesus and may God bless you through the weekend <laughs>